The next benefit to the MSI multi-span clamp I would like to show you is during a mid-span application. Traditionally, in a mid-span, we use a Q-span clamp. The problem there can be that most times the hard line and the fiber optics are lashed up very tight against the strand. And you may have the tech try to stick a flathead screwdriver or some other type of tool in there to create the space to be able to put the mid-span on. With the MSI multi-span clamp, this is not needed because you can put it on in a vertical orientation and rotate into position. So again, one, can, one tool installation using the can wrench on the 7 16 Go ahead and loosen this up and put it on in a vertical orientation onto the strand. Then just tighten it down, not all the way tight, but just loosely onto the strand so that you can still rotate it into position. As I spoke of before, this little tab on the side is for use to separate the messenger during the mid-span. So now you want to make sure that you rotate this away from the direction that you're going to bring the cable and then rotate into position and these jaws will slide right between the cable and the strand, preventing any type of damage to the cable or fiber optics. Once you have it in position, again with the tab facing away from the direction you're going with the cable, go ahead and tighten it down using your 7 16 can wrench, locking it onto the strand. And you will see it's nice and tight. It will not move on you over time due to oxidation. So during the mid-span, what you're gonna wanna do with your messenger cable is go ahead and again, we've already used a mid-span at the tap with a messenger drop clamp. Go ahead and slack the cable above telephone where you need to be and mark it so that you know where you're at. Take the messenger and rotate it towards your chest, then use the tab to separate the messenger and the cable. Again, we do not wanna stick any kind of utility blades or sharp tools in here that may damage the jacket and cause damage to the cable. Once you've separated the messenger away from the cable as such, you wanna make sure that from your center point, when you pulled the cable up and slacked it above telephone, you have about five to six inches of separated messenger to either point of center. Once you've done this, go ahead and take the messenger, put it up inside the clamp away from the direction that you're going behind the tab. Then use this almost like a pulley and you can pull your cable up into position and slack it above telephone. Once you've slacked up above telephone and the cable's in the position that you want, take the messenger, wrap it clockwise one time around the clamp, and that is your mid-span installation. The next thing that we want to make sure is that this messenger isn't going to separate away from the cable during wind load conditions, ice load conditions, or anything of that nature with vibrations. We have two styles of what we call an S-clip. We have for RG11 and RG6. The S-clips are made of dead soft aluminum and are to be put on with your fingers. We do not want to use channel locks or any other kind of tool to squeeze these on because again, you can cause damage to the coax, which is what we're trying to have not occur. On the S-clip, you'll see a flat serrated edge, that's the part that goes around the messenger, and the larger, rounder side is what goes around the RG6 or the RG11. To install, go ahead and take the, the clip, put it over the cable, then over the messenger, and again, using only your fingers, go ahead and tighten down, and now you'll see that you cannot get any separation of the messenger to the cable. Go ahead and put one on each side, Tighten down finger tight. Again, not using any tools or anything where we could damage the coax. And your mid-span installation is complete.